If we can do multiplication on the slide rule, it would make sense that we can do division as well. So let's try to figure out how we would be doing that. Let's move the B scale here so that the 20 is over the 10, just as before. And I'm going to mark that position with the cursor. So we have 20 divided by 10. Cross out the two zeros is the same thing as 2 divided by 1. Now we know that any location here, the top number, the number in the A scale divided by the number in the B scale is always equal to 2 or 2 with a different decimal point. So we have here 50. So sure enough, underneath the 50 we have the 25, which is half of 50. That makes sense. So knowing what we know about how to multiply with the slide rule, let's figure out how this can be used to do division. So we basically have here the numerator, the top number, 50, divided by 25, which is the bottom one, equals 2, which is the number right here. So going in the opposite direction that we did for multiplication, when we're going to do the division, we start by locating where the numerator is on the A scale. So in this case, 50 is here. Then we would go and move the B scale so that the denominator, the number on the bottom that we're dividing it by, is underneath this numerator, the 50. So we would be moving it here, the denominator. Then we would just read the answer here over the 10. So the result of the division would be 2 or 20 or a variation of that with a decimal point. In this case, we know that 50 divided by 25 equals 2. So this 10 here, the same index that we use for multiplication, is used now for a division, except you use it in the opposite direction. You use it at the end. As before, we also are going to have two regions. It's just something to keep in mind where the decimal point is going to change. So this number here divided by this number in this area is going to have an answer with a different decimal point than this number here divided by this number. Now let's take a look at a different problem, 36 divided by 9. So we're going to find the 36, which is the numerator, here on the A scale first. And here it is, 32, 34, 36. Now we're going to rotate the B scale, which is the denominator, the number that we're dividing it by, so that it's right underneath this 36. We don't really have a 9 here, we have a 90. So we're going to put the 90 underneath the 36. I'm just going to mark the location here with the cursor and then turn the B scale here so that the 90 is underneath the 36. The answer is going to be over the 10, the index used for division. The answer is going to be 40 or 0.4 or 4. So here it is, result of division. So as, as always, we have these different possibilities here and we have to rule them out. In this case, we know that 36 divided by 9 is 4. It's not 40 or 400 or 0.4.